got the wood stove going for the first time since last Thursday. Um, it was colder last night, so I fired it up. You can hear. Wow. Oh. You can hear the wind coming. I don't know if you can hear that on camera. I can see the trees back there starting to just shake and move. We've got some serious, brutal winds out here today and last night. Um, it's making a mess of things. Just ripping things to shreds out here. My rainwater collection is completely gone this time. I just, it's, I, I give up. I'm going to take it apart for the winter. There's nothing I can do. It's just the winds right now are so strong so intense out here we get 50 mile an hour and stronger winds it's just tearing stuff up out here which is weird because i'm surrounded by trees i never would have expected it but the um yeah the chicken tractor suffered some damage again the uh solar panels are doing fine but the rainwater collector is completely demolished Look, see, it didn't even take out the, the screws this time on this one. It ripped off these two. It's just crazy. I'm going to have to redesign the system. Completely demolished the whole thing and demolished my garden. Right here is where the garden fence starts. And it just, it smashed everything. It bent stakes over ripped the fencing to shreds the winter winds here in this meadow i can't believe it's a meadow i just did not expect this it's a meadow i'm surrounded by trees i would not expect these winds see the, the fence the garden starts here and the meadow's way over here see that you can see the screw holes in the metal ripped right through ripped to shreds it's done for this year it's done there's no point in trying again this is twice in a week twice in a couple days there's no point in trying again until the winter winds are down it's just crazy crazy intense winds out here at night of course my parents warned me they said there's a tornado warnings coming through their area they're, they're in Michigan I always get their weather two days later oh, there's a lot of repairs to do little things oh, well, it's cold today it's really cold due to the wind the um, roof of my camper I keep trying to cover where I pulled out the chimney and it keeps getting ripped off the winds are just crazy oh I'm shivering well time to go inside Whoa. inside where's nice the um oh come on all right the um porch is holding up well the porch is very nice now i'm shivering i'm outside but normally i'm fine and society is um quite warm it's just because i i'm still getting over being sick so i'm a little weak but um i can't believe the porch has held up through all of these winds the porch which everybody thought was going to go uh, to be shredded but the porch the porch is good well I'm obviously not strong enough yet to be outside so I'm going in where it's warm it's not actually that cold out it's 40 and 72 in but um I was shivering just because I'm still not strong I uh, was sick for about two weeks now. I am eating better. I have the fan on this morning because it was, I wanted to take the chill off fast. Um, it helps blow more air. Let me see inside the bedroom at 74 and 50 on the porch. Uh, so anyway, it's comfy inside. I think I'm still pretty weak from being sick. I haven't been sick in years like this, but I've been pretty rough for two weeks. But it's partly my fault from not eating well. So, But I've been eating better now. I've been eating a lot, just trying to get myself stronger. So I should be better soon. 
you can see the tree outside my window shaking in the wind you can see leaves blowing and tossing now this is on the ground in the forest it's really windy out I mean this is down at ground level behind the RV it's um, really really windy out today it's ugly and gray and um, still causing some damage and destruction out there so I'm probably staying inside today to keep my head from being banged on flying branches um, it's one of those days it's safer to stay inside because um, I think I'm get being blocked from the worst of it fortunately but it sure is bad down here in the meadow I don't know if you can see through all the plastic now it's really blurry that wind turbine is spinning like mad today. That's a good thing. All this wind and all this blasting energy out there is at least making a difference on my uh, battery bank. It's making up for it with the clouds. But it's really spinning hard. That thing is just spinning like mad all day. Um, it's pretty much intermittent because the wind is gusting, but still. I can't wait to get that other wind turbine up. It's going to help on days like this. Today I am going to assemble my wind turbine. I have most of the parts laid out here. Um, it's really, really windy out, so I hope to get this done today. I also have my new wind dump load and uh, resistive loads and the controller here, which I hope to be mounting. I have time permits today because it's miserably cold and windy outside. I want to, I'm going to change the system here a little bit. I'm going to place a board here along this wall and this is going to have a bunch, all my meters and gauges and controls. I want this actually visible and I want the resistors out. Um, not only will they be just cool to look at but it's also going to help heat the RV when, uh, when they're dumping energy. So, I really want to have this visible here. I want to set this up so everything's right there because I like my gadgets and I like to see it and I want to know what's going on at all times with my system. And I also have a digital voltmeter which I want to set up here. And I want to also have a meter that's going to show the power coming out of my wind turbines. So, it's going to be quite a day working inside here with all my my gear and hooking up my turbines and controls so I hope I get it done uh, starting out relatively early today so here we go the wind is insane today my porch is creaking and groaning it's hard to really see when you're out here and it comes in gusts and spurts my porch is creaking like mad though it's still holding up See the trees? Oh, you can hear it. Look at that wind turbine kick up. It spins up really fast. Look at the trees bent right over. Um, they had tornadoes in Michigan the day, the day or so ago. I don't even know if you can hear me. Put my hand over the mic. They had tornadoes in Michigan, and my mom warned me we're going to get some bad storms here. Um, I've got a lot of work to do putting stuff together and repairing. Destroyed my garden pretty badly. It is freezing cold. Freezing. The wind is coming. Look at that wind turbine spin around. The wind is coming from all different directions, just back and forth and all around. But uh, it's really powerful. It's really hard to catch that on camera. It's hard to show the big picture. But there's some serious winds out here, just blowing stuff everywhere. So I've been mostly inside all day. Sounds like thunder out here. Stuff is ripping by the RV. Of course, the RV muffles the sound nicely. The wind is insane. I can hear it. Here comes another gust. I hope you can hear it on the camera well. It is just tearing through here. Stuff is flying. There's debris all over. Look at the leaves blowing through the forest. 
I hope this shows up. I hope you can hear it. So much wind today, it's crazy. I can't wait to get the gauges and meters up today. Well, there's my new wind turbine up in the air. Waiting for the wind to pick back up again. And I mounted it on this tower here like this. That was what used to be the water collection stand. And since the water collector is destroyed, I took this stand over here and mounted another 10-foot pole with my first wind turbine. So, uh... We just have to finish wiring up this one. This one's wired and ready to roll. And uh, funny, it is how it is. Uh, the, the wind stops blowing as soon as you set up a wind turbine. But there it is. Now we're going to be putting out some serious power next time the wind picks up. Got two wind turbines up in the air. We've got a mass of cables and wires strung out. I am wiring my... Right now what I'm doing is putting in a voltmeter that's going to show when the wind turbines are producing power. I don't have it hooked up yet. And I also put in a better wire on the output of the wind turbine for now bolted on to the positive bus terminal. So I'm just improving wires here and uh, this massive spaghetti is my work for the night. <laughs>